In this video, we're going to talk about the conditional expression. The conditional expression is one which allows a program to use one of multiple different result expressions when you want to return one thing or maybe something else or maybe something else. The example we're going to use here is that of a rejection letter for a jockey. Okay. If a jockey is less than 52 kilos, we're going to say, sorry, you're below average. If above 52 kilos, we're going to say, sorry, you're above average. And above 57 kilos, you're actually illegal. So we're going to strip this down to the core, and we're going to develop a function called uh, weight rejection, which just returns the core string. Weight rejection. Now we're going to follow the design recipe here, so we're going to think about what kind of data it's going to take in. Let's, that's going to be a a number and it's going to return a string. Okay, fine. So number to string. Given a weight in kilos, return a rejection string, let's say. And the header is going to look like this to find weight rejection of a weight is going to be something or other. Probably should have hyphenated this. Okay, here we go. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of test cases. Check, uh, expect weight rejection of 50, 50 kilos. That should be below average. Check, expect of weight, weight rejection. 56 be above average and check expect of weight rejection 60 kilos is going to be illegal probably would behoove us to hear to think about what's going to happen exactly at the boundaries check expect weight rejection 52 let's call that below average what the heck below average and right on the boundary expect weight i'm having a problem there weight rejection of 57 we're going to call that illegal okay we've covered the boundary conditions we know what we're going for here the only problem is we need some expression that can sometimes do one thing and sometimes do something else and that expression is the conditional it starts with a cond c o n d it has clauses we're going to set up those clauses in advance. There's three different clauses, three different possible result behaviors that we want. Each of those is going to have two pieces. The first piece on the left is going to be the test. And the second, quest the second part of it is going to be the result. So the test for the first part is we say if the weight is less than 52. All right, that's the, that's the test there. The result, well, let's do all the tests first. The test for the next one, less than weight 57, and less than weight, hmm, that's not going to work. Let's just do uh, greater than or equal to of weight 57. Very well. Anyone see a problem on the horizon? I do. Okay, so if the weight is low, we're going to return below average. If it's less than 57, we're going to return above average. And if it's above that, we're going to say illegal. Okay, so there's a couple things to tell you about this. First of all, each clause here has two pieces, a test and then a result. The way that Dr. Racket evaluates these, or Racket evaluates these, is he looks at each clause starting from the first one in order and examines the, the test checks to see whether it evaluates to true, and if so, returns the corresponding result. If it doesn't, it goes on to the next one. So in this case, if we were to call it with, let's say, 50, the very first test case here, it's going to say, let's look at the test case. Is this weight less than 52? Why, yes, it is. So we're going to return below average. Let's try running these test cases. Oh, dear. One of the tests failed. Let's see what it is. Actual value above average differs from below average. Golly, well, those are definitely different. Let's see which test failed. This one failed. 
Oh, my goodness. Why is that? 52. We said less than 52 was below. Less than 52 was supposed to be below average. Oh, darn. Okay, this was supposed to be less than or equal to. It's a good thing that we wrote that test case, isn't it? Let's try again. Now all five tests pass. The conditional expression works by examining each clause in order and determining which one to use. I think that's about enough for one video.